<laughs> good afternoon to you. <laughs> it's nearly half, but that's the way we roll around here. Jess, Catherine, good morning to you. Good morning. <laughs> if you're still running after two hours, something's, something's gone, gone terribly, terribly wrong. wrong. I don't know how much of that we caught, but mm. I think that sums things up. You're both running the VHI Women's Mini Marathon this weekend. Yes. Uh, it's an aid of the Dublin Race Cr- Rape Crisis Centre, mm-hmm. and you've got links up on all social pages to go and donate. Yes. Or you could go directly to idonate.ie forward slash news talk. It's too complicated. It's too complicated. It's Just literally put the typing link up letters. In, uh, on social media and people. It's, it's up on social media. Well. It's up on Off the Ball social media from last links. night. It's Hyper up on links. both of ours. Having yourself. Normal links. We'll chuck some more out Thanks now. for your support, Adrian. <laughs> it's great to see that you're coming in at the right attitude. Thank you so much. Uh, how's training? Good. Like, so this all... I'm speaking for us, okay? Everything is great. Uh, so this is something that uh, I said to Kathleen maybe eight weeks ago mm. in a pub. Mm-hmm. On a Friday oh, that's night, a good place to start, yeah. I kind of bullied that's her into it, starts. and uh, I now have the utter fear. And I just said to her a second ago, if I ever try and talk you into anything, you need to talk me out of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, for future reference, because I we've been, I've been trying. I've been running for about fifteen or sixteen months now, and I really enjoy it. But I have serious nerves about all of the people. Twenty five thousand people are going to do this, right? <laughs> and then there's going to be thousands of people lining the streets. Yeah. What if it turns out I run like Phoebe from Friends <laughs> and nobody has ever told me I'm going to be in some person's like Instagram reel running in the background like a duck. I just, I can't, I have, the fear is unbelievable. Well, it, it, Jared Regan has this thing about when you're running that you just accept that you're running with injuries and that's just the way it is. Mm. And like, there's no point in complaining about it too much. So where are you at on the injury count, Kathleen? I've been relatively okay. Like the only thing I've really found is that the days that I've pushed myself, the muscle pain the next day has been the thing that has most affected me. But so far, touch wood, knees are fine, ankles are fine, no tears, strains, anything else. Although one may crop up between now yeah. and Sunday. No, it won't. Well, you're tapering now, right? That's the, yeah, yeah. Is that what they call it? As in panicking. <laughs> I'm very much tapering I mean, possibly that case. also. No, Resting like winding nearly just, down your training. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I've been extensively winding down my training. <laughs> for the last, <laughs> for the last uh, 10 days. Months, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I think we're, like, I, I feel we're in a good position. Mm. And I do think that the adrenaline on the day, I did um, the run in the dark before Christmas and the buzz of it. How long is that? Uh, 10K as well. Okay. So it, it's kind of the excitement carries you along the way. Yeah. Um, so there's an element to that. The thing is, our goal here was to raise money for the Dublin Rape Crisis Centre and to do the thing. Mm-hmm. So even if we end up crawling backwards, we are going to get this done. There's no chance either of you are going to do anything other than keep running. But the thing is, we're both very stubborn. Yeah. I mean, the fact that I've outlasted this far yeah. in itself is impressive. <laughs> I thought Jess would very much be getting a text the morning after that Friday evening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, that's Hey, good, good night out last night. <laughs> I can't remember anything else. Was there, there's a bit of a dark patch there. Did I agree to something? I don't think I did. Um, and I, like I said it the other day when I was on with the lads that I've, I have found it really hard because I'm not a runner. Like mentally, it's just not where my head space I find... I haven't found the place that you have found from it where you get like quite a lot from mm. it. And I, especially in the last couple of weeks, that's the thing that's made the training harder as you're kind of increasing your distances, going up the ways. You know the event is coming. I probably let my head take over a little bit too much. And the thing that did keep me going is raising the money. And that's the thing that has been really important. And the fact that we're like so close to doubling the target that we initially set yeah, out is brilliant. really good. That's amazing. Yeah. But I do think that mental side of running, because I would have always scoffed at people who talk about running because it's kind of their defining personality traits that they run. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kieran Cuddy in the office is one of them. Like he just <laughs> walked by. I know the marathon. Okay, cool, Kieran, <laughs> calm down. Uh, but I thought it was all about physical fitness. And it was to begin with, when I started running, like I started running when my partner was ill, my brain was going insane. I just thought one day I need to go for a walk. Bit by bit, I was like, can I run? And I tried to run from one tree around a green to another tree and I couldn't do it. I was so unfit. I was physically unfit, but I persevered with it. And now I'm at the place where it's good for my brain to do it. And I find that because that's my why is that it's good for my brain. Don't care about any other impact of it. It just shuts my brain down. I kind of get over some of those mental hurdles that you're feeling. So now I'm at the stage where it's kind of like I have to have my phone with me because I'm a millennial. Like I have to go for a run to shut my brain down. It's just part and parcel for it. And I think when you find your why, so your why at the moment is because we're raising the money. Mm. And I think if you could either set another challenge or something, everyone has different reasons for getting into it. But for me, I think that's why I've Mm. persevered with it. And it's such a short period of time that you've had, Kathleen, that 
you're thinking, I need to get fit for this. I need to be able to do it. So you're thinking that all the time when maybe just you the time to I just enjoy it, it a bit or mm-hmm. slow down or pick it up mm-hmm. or, you know, yeah. probably is figuring out that why. Yeah, no, definitely. I think that's probably part of it because I haven't really done organized exercise. Like I would, if I was at home, I'd go out for a cycle or something or like I'd go down to the beach and go for a swim, but I haven't done organized exercise in this way in a good few years. So even that side of things, and I'm also really used to doing team sports. Mm -hmm. So I'm used to there being people around and it's a bit more structured and there's someone telling you, you have to do this and then you have to do that. rather than I'd hate that. (laughs) I don't deal well being told what to do. So just going off, even the route being set by somebody else on Sunday is enough. I'll do my own one. I'll meet you in the pub after. But you, um, because that's, like a lot of people's story, when you run from tree to tree and you find it hard, yeah. what point after that do you go, right, uh, that's my, when how, When do you decide that's my why and I want to It w- It was uh, like, so keep my, doing this? My thing was that I, I just wanted to move my body for at least 30 minutes a day. And so I was walking and I was feeling... And you decided that? Yeah, I decided it, when Harry was in hospital, I okay. was like, I just need to do something for me for half an hour a day where I'm not on the phone, I'm not thinking about anything, just going out. Mm. And so that was the that was the goal was to just get out and walk. And then one day just popped in my head of I wonder could I do that? Mm. And I was actually taken aback at how unfit I was. Like I was proper panting going from one tree to another tree around the green. And so me being stubborn in my head, I was like, okay, I'm gonna just keep doing that one tree, that same tree on my walk every single day until it's not a pain in the face anymore. Mm. Uh, and then you kind of don't realize how gradually it builds up and how the progress all of a sudden yeah you can that feeling of two I'm going to die after stopping. a second goes away it goes getting away. over that hurdle isn't it? it it's just bananas and so now what I have is I've got a playlist I listen to the same playlist every time when I'm out running okay and so I know that by song three I've hit my stride now and I can pace myself Brilliant. that way uh, but like I can do and I don't want to jinx it but like I can do 5k comfortably Yeah, I can do 7k and then my brain starts to kind of wander a little bit and starts making lists of all the to-do lists that I have to do and whatever so doing 10k I'm still I wouldn't say I do 10k comfortably but you can do it we can do it and do you know what's <laughs> we more can do it. we will do it <laughs> with Adrian. the crowd we will it turns do it. out <laughs> uh, the same playlist starting from the same place every time yeah wow yeah because I had this thing, I, I was like a little modger leaving the house excited going for a walk. So I'd burst out the front door and then you'd burn out. And so now what I do is I have my, the slower songs kind of just do the warm up. Okay. So I walk what are the first up. three songs? I'm not, no, I'm not, Come on. no, I'm not being publicly shamed on the internet. <laughs> Nobody's looking to shame you. <laughs> I know you. Come on. No. Uh, so I have my first three songs, <laughs> get out. And then by the time I'm into song three, it kind of the pace picks up a little bit. But there's a mix of everything and anything. An eclectic mix, I think it's called. Uh, but I very much enjoy just shutting down, enjoying the music, and then getting it done. Like, we were talking about the smugness. Mm. I'm a naturally smug person. <laughs> so running has just... Oh, I hide it so well. Uh, but I think we are going to float home on Sunday. It'll be fab. Yeah, looking forward to it. It's going to be great. It's um, be brilliant. Uh, <laughs> Jess said you're looking for your why. Are you looking for a... <laughs> that to be finished? Uh, <laughs> no. Well, like, there's a couple of things as well that are going into my head going into this. So, like, even something, my period is due on Sunday. And, like, no, the first day of mine is always, like, really, really tough. It's really yeah. sore. Yeah. And even that as a mental thing going into mm. it, I have in my head. And I it actually made, whenever I realized, and I was like, damn it. I was just thinking about, like, all the sports people in general. Like, I know, obviously, there's things you can take to help and stuff, but... Just if you're going into a big challenge at all, it's something you have to factor in so much and sometimes you can't control it and things. So and even just warm ups and things you're thinking of getting an injury, all of those things yeah. go through your head more. Yeah, know? exactly. And even like you're thinking of the course and I'm like, well, am I going to like, am I going to be able to get to a bathroom on time mm. and all these sort of things? So mm. I'm probably you're in like a good spot. Oh, I'm absolutely faking it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas I'm just going like, to do it. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? But I also think I'm the sort of person that I will panic very much all the way into the lead up of something mm. and then it'll get to like the day before and I'm like, I'm here now. I, I can't do, do anything that. about but, it. Do you know what we need to think about it? Like, is that, say if we were going on a European city break, say if we were going to Paris on Sunday, we would easily do 10K waddling around the city, having a great time yeah. and you wouldn't even feel it. Mm. We're going to do it at a slightly faster pace. Mm-hmm. 
it's all going to be fine. Now you'll be having a glass of wine every like. <laughs> oh, we're going to do that. We're going to. We're actually doing this at the pub crawl. <laughs> <laughs> I have marked down. Do it's going to be fine. It's going to be totally um, fine. And everybody else is the same as well. That's the best bit. Yeah. There's going to be so many people there that have only started running that are going to walk it, whatever it is. Yeah. So there's no pressure. No. Can it's I um not. ask the you know you were talking about the team aspect of mm. it earlier? Are you running it together or what's the story? Go on. You can answer. Well, we've talked about it before and the two of us have both said that we feel like we do quite well on our own. So I feel like it could be a thing of see <laughs> you at the start line, wave at each other and then see you in the pub afterwards. We're going to slightly ignore <laughs> okay. each other, but yeah, in a communal yeah. sense, that's yeah. what we'll do. It'll so, be fine. Well, you want, uh, there'll be no music though going around. You want, you, oh, there will be, okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I don't. So I've got noise cancelling headphones. So my plan is to have the earbuds in, but turn the noise cancelling off. Mm. So you can kind of get a bit of the crowd but okay. I do think I don't want to deviate from my normal thing and my normal thing is having my music on mm. so I just think I think the crowd element as well part. might be more important towards the end yeah. when you're you know getting to that point where the music might not be hitting in the same way and yeah. you just need to realise there's people all around you who want to see you run and want to mm-hmm. well, see that gives me the fear don't say that <laughs> well I mean I, it, it does strike me that like you know one of the country's top celebrities running around uh, this thing is going to garner a lot of attention and <laughs> I think that's also does. why we can't so be associated <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and Kathleen do you think you'll keep running after this uh, I don't know I think as you and Jess were saying if I find the why and I did like I definitely did at the start get something from it and I was vaguely impressed at myself for a getting out and doing it and b just that feeling you're talking about afterwards of when you finish the smugness i think what i found was i didn't get as much of a exercise high off it afterwards oh, really? as, yeah as maybe the, you're fitter than i am so that could be one. no i don't think that's it at all jess <laughs> uh, when you're like i'll run 5k comfortably and 7k will be fine 10k it'll be good i'm like mm-hmm, yes we will see about that but i think for me i feel i may need something that has like a bit more of a class element to it or maybe like I won't solely run. I'll run and do something else. I think that's probably more likely for yeah. me because um, I do think I just, I need people around me in some sort of a sense. I do like, I think for running, I like doing it alone because of the fact I find it hard and I want to be like talking to myself as mm. I'm doing it, which makes me sound a little bit crazy, but you everyone know, like yeah, everyone exactly. the mental side, whereas I think doing something else in a class format and having that camaraderie, I quite enjoy. And the Dublin Red Crisis Centre mm-hmm. raised funds through obviously a lot of volunteer charity work. Yeah. Is there government funding or in any... Uh... There is a bit, but uh, they do rely so heavily on yeah. volunteers and fundraising and they've been doing incredible work since 1979 they do a whole host of counselling and supports for people impacted by sexual violence and trauma. Uh, they're also carrying out consent classes. Like the work that they do is across such a broad spectrum. Um, and the reason we are so happy and proud to be doing this is because it's an organisation that you don't want to exist. Like in a dream world, an organisation like this would not exist. But when you or someone you love needs it, you are so grateful for it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but every single cent counts. So if you can go onto social media or go to idonate.ie forward slash news talk off the ball, even if it's two quid, every single cent is going to go to them and support the work that they do. Um, and as I said, I think in this country over the last 18 months, two years, we have seen the importance of organisations like this, uh, but they cannot exist without fundraising efforts like this. You're doing great work, the two e, fair play. Thank you. Two powerful people. Uh, <laughs> so best of luck yeah, on Sunday. Best of luck. You're going I to got be this. Absolutely brilliant at it. Um, it is 9.42. That is pretty much it from us for this morning. I don't see any uh, birthdays in front of me here. Don't so give them a chance, Adrian. That. Oh, hang on He's a second. Pointing He's pointing frankly. Pointing. Oh, they've just popped up literally as I said that. It's AI. <laughs> That's the way AI works these days. It just... Gives you no, it's trouble. not. <laughs> that's that's, that's not fundamentally that. untrue. We have right. a tech person in the room. Bank <laughs> holiday weekend. So, of course, we're going to see you on Tuesday. Jaron Owen will be back. We'll have the performance rankings, all of the reactions of the weekend's football, GA and rugby, and what's going to be a pretty stacked uh, couple of days of sport. But it is the 31st of May. So, a huge happy birthday to the reigning French Open champion, Igor <laughs> Schweitek, who today turns... <laughs> Come on, Jess. This is how this works. 30, well, I just say a number. 31. 32. Are you looking at the doc? No. Uh, 20s. She's definitely younger than I said. She's probably like 26 or something. 25. 23. Oh, wow. (laughs)
Ireland's own Colin Farrell. Oh, uh, like he? 48? From one celebrity to another, 48, okay. Why? Like, where is this going? 55. <laughs> How do 55. I make it stop? 55? That's a bit Whoa, mean. That's, that's a, a bit very mean. mean. <laughs> I would have said 40, 43, 44. No. 48. Okay. I was Jesus. right. I wasn't yeah. that far off. Taking years off. 55. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, rapper Azalea Banks. 27? <laughs> 28. Yeah, what around? Yeah, 20, 28. 33. Okay. And uh, Hollywood legend Clint Eastwood. Oh. Today turns. Oh, like 107 or something. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> you're around forever. forever. <laughs> you're, you're really dishing out the insults today. Come on now. That's what I do. 77. <laughs> 77. No, he's older than that. Isn't he like oh, 84 or something? Nine, 95, yeah. 94? What, what did you say, Jess? I said it's 84. Oh, no, I thought you said 95. Oh. You got it nearly. There you are. Best of luck in Sunday. Thank you. Thanks, million. Ashing, pleasure as always. Thanks,